Good morning, Gare. Hey, Daria. So I see that the A's now lead three games over Texas, over Rangers, and I said, I look at that score, and I understand, you know, in football, every touchdown you get six, six, th okay, 18, but 18, 18, I was like, was, were they pitching underhand? Yeah, How no, did that happen? It was really funny. Uh, the game started at five, right? Right. I mean, it didn't get over until uh, almost, uh, well, after nine o'clock. My God, it, four, the, 10 runs in one in the fourth inning alone. Yeah, they, the A's are just, uh, they're going to be in the playoffs. Wow. It's, it's great. I mean, they're just having a tremendous year. And, and once again, uh, you know, people get tired of me saying this if you're an A's fan, but I think it's true. You know the names, Lins you know, Lincecum and Posey, you know, with the Giants, uh, you know, even Zito. Right. The A's, you know, they're, they're a bunch of guys. I'm not saying they're not outstanding players, right. but they just haven't built up a resume yet where you – you know the names, well, but you, all they're doing is winning. All, yeah, that's, I was going to say, all you need to know is A's win. How that, about that? That's all. That, <laughs> that's all. That, that, ends, that ends our conversation. We're, we're, we're about A's the team. Win. Gary, I, I'm about the team, okay? Yeah. I root for the team. Yeah, see, see you're, <laughs> you're more of a team. I have to admit, and when I watch sports, yes. I enjoy uh, the stars. I know. Hey, hey, well, do you still enjoy it even when you know they're out? I mean, I, the Giants won, and uh, it's like, okay, well, that's, that's great. It's not going to do anything for you. But all they want to do now, go into L.A., is not be the ones on the field as the Dodgers celebrate clinching. Yeah, and I see. Help me out. Can the Dodgers clinch uh, tonight? They could. They could. Magic number is six, so it could happen. They got a four-game stand starting tonight in L.A. Okay. Uh, that would so not be good. And with tonight, but they could they could do it certainly right, this weekend by Sunday. And you got Brian Wilson, and it's just like that would it would be not not fun, not yeah, fun okay. for not fun for but, the but Giants. See, I have a different theory. What? By now, the Giants have been out of it for a month. Right. So they're. I'm not saying they're uh, not going to try. Of course, they're going to try. Yeah. In, in fact, they're probably you know they've settled into hey this season is not going to be a playoff season so let's go out and have some fun right and well I like as you know you never go in going well forget it it's over we're going to lose especially when it's the Dodgers you want to beat them oh will you stop that what? all right what See, about I'm this the wrong guy I think the I fans, know <laughs> I think the fans make a big deal about the Dodgers right. but I mean hey, look at Brian Wilson yeah I mean that, look at it, that guy Uribe I mean yeah. these guys now and they're not mercenaries but, right uh, they go where they're wanted and where the money is. All right, but even when we see the Dodgers-Giants games, we always see, you know, security is high because the fans, it's such a big deal. The cops dress up. And now, with a true rivalry with, like the Seahawks and the Niners, we're going to see the cops doing just that again. You yeah, see I think that's a good idea, whether they're going to wear uh, the 49er uniform. Exactly. They're going to wear, you know, like hats and stuff. And, and <laughs> well, they may, may over, they'll overdo it. Maybe they'll stick out. I'm not sure. But they're going to they're gonna do that so that they can catch anybody behaving bad. Badly, as Stanley Roberts likes to say. Don't worry. I, I'll say it again. If anybody followed Stan around all day, he'd be <laughs> serving three to six. I told If anybody followed anybody around, but I think it's a good idea. And that, that you would say, right? I mean, this is getting to be, this is like the rivalry. Yeah, I, I think so because they're both so good, the 49ers. That's some, that's some hat, huh? <laughs> yeah, I think this is like asking for somebody, for somebody from the, for, you know, a fan for the other team to slug you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and yet that, that's always a good question. Should you be able to wear whatever you want to an opposing stadium? But that's, you know, it's yes, like you wearing should. a shirt down the, down the street. I hate uh, uh, people who drive Mercedes, uh, yeah. right? You know, I mean, you're just, you're just, Sticking out your your tongue at people. Well, it, you know that's that's what they do. Look at all the body painters, the face painters at the games, right? It, of course, they got to they got to allow that. You you can't hit anybody because they like another team. I hate that. You think anybody that paints their face is also trying to get three kids ready for school? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, absolutely no, I mean, not. You do have time on your hands, and that's fine too, I guess. Right. No, you know what you talked about. I remember you saying Steph Curry is one of the guys you would let marry your daughter, and I noticed that you had Seth little brother on last night. Yeah, real charming kid. Yeah, oh, here, roll some of this, guys. Let's hear it. We have... We Ever have beat stuff. your brother, your big brother, one-on-one? -on -one? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, seriously now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? You got any yeah. video on that? I don't. I wish. But, I mean, we have, we have good competitive one-on-one -on -one games. We work That's out cool. all the time in the summer, so it's fun. How 
great is this? And you know what? I was looking. It's only happened two other times in the entire NBA history where uh, two other pairs of brothers have been on the very same team. So now they could both be on the Warriors if Seth pulls his weight. Jeez, I, I now I'm embarrassed. How could I? Did didn't you know look that. that up? I looked that up. You want to know who they are, don't you? Uh, Go ahead. Tom and Dick Van Arsdale. That yeah. was 6577. And Brent and Mark Price. With Washington. Wow, that but is very good knowledge. In, no, in baseball, I was thinking, oh, this is so cool and rare, and I am always focused on like the family part of the story. Um, in baseball, it happens a lot. And then somebody brought up to me uh, the the three brothers who played for the Giants. Jeez, I did not know. Alou, Alou, Maddie Alou, right? Yeah, Maddie Alou, hey, hey, Alou. Su Felipe. And uh, Matty, Jesus, and Felipe. Felipe. Yeah. So it happened like a hundred other times in MLB where you had brothers on the same team. But in the NBA, this will be a big deal. I'm going to, you know, I probably will not give you any credit, but in a couple well, hours, I'll be saying, is any good basketball fan knows? You better not. <laughs> no, that's that very, no, but who told you? You like that now? No, I looked it up because, you know, I get excited about the personal stuff. And I thought, has this happened a lot before? Yeah, but you still didn't answer the question. Who told you? I, I'm telling you, I looked Looked it up. Hey, wow. try the Google. It's so good. Yeah, I know, but you've got, you have, I want you to have I don't a life. Have I mean, Buzz Aldrin, you can't spend I, your life looking at a computer if you want to snare Buzz Aldrin. I, that's, that's right. I, I got to wow him with my knowledge. How old is he? My 83. Yeah, if you didn't see yesterday morning, <laughs> Buzz Aldrin was coming on to Daria. Somebody thought it was Neil Armstrong. All right, <laughs> we'll see you, Gary. All right, see ya.